忍びの時代は終わる Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This is Mr. Game Freak here, and welcome to another Black Clover Phantom Knights video. So, quick plug for my boy. Did you notice something about that thumbnail? Let me put it up real quick. Now, that fin roll that you see in the middle, that was not pulled from the internet. No, no, no. That was actually created by our very own Nate from the Discord server. So, let's head on over to Airtable real quick for the plug. All right, so if you don't know Nate, again, he is from our Discord server for the Black Clover game. Um, that'll also be in the description below if you want to check it out. But Nate actually saw me on there and he noticed that I was talking about Finroll for White Day and he offered me to use that photo that you see in the thumbnail. He created that. So the quick plug for him because this is awesome. He does headshot, he does waist and half body commission, full body and chibi. All right, guys, so now that we're done with that, again, shout out to Nate. Make sure you check the description below. Let's get into the grit of what today's video is about. So we're here to talk about our boy. Let's see where he's at. Mm -hmm. Right here. So tier one, Finro White Day. As you all know, Towers was released. I'm seeing a lot of feedback about how people are trying to get through Tower. I've been told level 30 and above is the work if you're free to play. I myself am pay to play, so I made it all the way up to 46 as I am right now. But the reason today's video is being made is because we truly do not understand and I did not understand when I released my White Day Banner video for him and Asta was really what we're getting with Finro White Day, alright? This guy is on tier one of the tier list for JP. And so I quickly just dismissed him as if he was nothing. But my friends, you uh, you don't know what it is, okay? So stick around. Let's head on over to Finro's page real quick right here for his description. Let's read some of these character descriptions and statuses. HP 2750. I could have literally said 2750, but okay. Attack 350, Defense 175, Speed 325, Intelligence 300, and the, mm, the Luck 325. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, the special right here. Pay attention, kids. For a while, prevent all allies in range from being attacked. Secret moves are unaffected, plus up to two times. Okay, hold on. So you guys know that we have formations right now like Aqua Deer or Sea Green Turtle like how I'm using. Aqua Deer offers two switches for invulnerability to your team and uh, Sea Green Turtle offers three. Okay, imagine that on the go. Alright, Finro, White Day offers that as is Arcane Art. Okay, just let that sink in for a minute. Let's move on to AOM. For a long time, AOA participants get AOM seal protection. I don't really have to explain why this is important. You don't have to run him as your leader, but I can tell you right now, Towers does AOM seal. And they also form seal. So keep that in mind. You don't have to use him for AOM though, so let's keep it going. Skill 1, increase critical rate plus speed of all allies within range. Give, uh, excuse me, um, all range means all freaking sides. Okay, we're not talking just one line. We're talking the whole damn field on top of his arcane art. Come on, guys. Skill two, high chance to move a row of enemies to the front for a long time. Lower their defense and speed. Oh, God. I need to... What's going on? I'm fucking, I'm fucking losing my mind. This guy is crazy. So you're telling me I got an arcane art. Skill 1, skill 2, and they're useful? What? Come on, man. You're too good, bro. <laughs> What's skill 3? <laughs> Fill the secret move meter of one ally. Come on, dude. Oh, God. Yo, my man is literally covering all bases as a support unit. Do you feel me? Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? Get off me. Do you feel me? All right? This unit is what we need for towers don't okay let's say you didn't even play towers let's say you don't even know about the game this unit comes out even just having him for story mode defend 
PvP even though nobody fucking cares about that. This unit is worth the pull. Alright? Pull out game strong. You feel me? No, but really, jokes aside, Finroll White Day is amazing. And guess what formations he works good with? He works good with Black Bull and Formation 2, which is Frog or whatever the fuck that is. But that's aside the point. This man's special is amazing. All range. And his skill 1, all range, is even more amazing. And on top of that, skill 2 with a high chance to move a row of enemies to the front for a long time and lower their defense and speed. You can probably set him up with Charmy, uh, a good debuffer right now. But I'm talking about tower wise. So we know that Charmy can lower people's uh, defense. And also she gets a buff from doing her own uh, arcane art and she'll lower attack. So it's kind of like you're really giving this guy a shine, right? He's shining. He is the beacon of light. The star in the sky, my, my guy. Okay? This guy is what we need for towers. It's true. So my apologies. Do not dismiss him. He is not to be dismissed. This man has a spot at the table. Okay? He can compete. So I know you guys are really still excited about SD Uno, but this guy, okay? You have to think about it in the long run. You can't just pull OP units and get through towers. You're not going to be able to. JP players are still having trouble with levels 50 and above, 46 and above. I'm 8.2, no, 8.3 attack as a group, pay to play, and I can't and I couldn't get past 46. It did not happen for me. But if I had him on my team, I feel better about it. This is really a unit that will shine on the team. Even, like, let's say you just have two good attackers, maybe one good attacker. He's going to make it so much more easier for you guys to make those big nukes happen. Especially if the entire front row is lowered in defense and speed. So, I mean, well, he moves into the front row. It can be from the middle. But that's the good thing. I mean, you have options with this guy. He's very, very, uh, what you would call versatile in the fact that for a nullifying unit, he can pretty much hold his own as a support unit. So, yeah, he's a nullifying unit, man. That's crazy, dude. This guy is crazy, man. He's a null unit, which actually means like an extra. Sorry. That's what I meant to say. He's, a, he's an extra unit. But imagine throwing him in the mix with like Zora. Who else can we mix him with? Um, you could probably mix him with a good healer. Like right now, I got Witch Queen on my team because I don't have anybody better right now. Um, but she does stun as well. But Zora does the same thing. I only have Witch Queen on there because she can do stun and heal units. And I have a Funeral Mirror on her, so there's that. Um, but there's a lot of potential there. And yeah, this guy's really good. So if you guys didn't, if you guys didn't know, well, now you do. So again, I know everybody's super excited for SD Uno when he drops. Which, by the way, I will be doing a giveaway. Quick plug. You gotta subscribe to my channel. So if you're watching this, go ahead and subscribe now and get it out the way. Because I will be giving away three free steps for that banner to two lucky people. But that's aside the point. What I'm trying to say is White Day banner drops. I'm pulling. Alright, I'm pulling. And I hope everybody else who cares about towers pulls for this unit. Of course, if you want to save for Yuno, no problem. Go ahead and do so. I'm just giving my opinion about this guy. I was completely wrong about that. I did not even take time to read what he's all about. This man is crazy. Okay, he is crazy. So, that's the video for today. Again, I'd like to say a big thank you to Nate. All his information will be down in the description box below. Check him out. Again, content creator or not check out his work and if you like the game or you like something in chibi and you want it for yourself profile picture hello go commission some work from him he's a good guy again all his stuff will be linked in the description box below but anyways guys thank you so very much for watching today's video um last night's stream we gained something around what 50 plus follows i don't even know anymore it was crazy thank you to everybody who came through i really really appreciate it you guys are awesome um and again shout out to ace kage adam that's the homie he's really held it down for me since i switched over to this game so big shout out to him go check out his channel um which he's actually featured on my channel if you go to my page he is one of the only people he's the only person i have in the uh, other channels listed there to watch besides mine he is on there so go follow him as well and well, that's it, guys. That does it for today's video. Thank you so very much for sticking around to the end. If you're enjoying my content, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help me. 
um, and we'll continue to drop more stuff. I got a very special video for you guys coming out soon, so keep an eye out for that. And well, guys, that is it for today. This is Mr. Game Freak, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.